<sighs> Here we go. Yes, that's right. We have the new Marvel Legends Future Foundation Stealth Suit Spider-Man, part of the new release of 60 Amazing Years Marvel Legends. Uh, <laughs> oh, man. I've seen nothing, absolutely nothing but bad things online about this figure to where some people are calling this probably the worst Marvel Legends figure this year. It's no secret that I have just really, really really been disappointed with some of the stuff Hasbro has been releasing, some of the stuff Hasbro has been doing lately, and even some of their good offerings I haven't been all that impressed by. I still, I think that, you know, one of the best offerings that they had recently out of the stuff that I've been underwhelmed by is the Amazing Fantasy Spider-Man, but that's really only one figure out of the new releases, and uh, I've gotten almost all of them by now just to see for myself how bad they are, uh, or how good they are, and unfortunately, most of the stuff I've been getting is either super not great or, you know, just a bit mediocre for my taste. Uh, I know it sounds like I'm a bit of a snob. I don't want to be, you know. I love Marvel Legends, man. But to see some of the stuff going on lately with this line, uh, man, it's just like, it just feels like we're in a dark age for this line. If you ask me now, who knows? By next year, things could get better and things could actually seem like it's worth a $20 $25 price point, I should say. However, I just got to say it, the more and more I see this, you know, plastic-free packaging, the less and less I keep liking it. I don't think it's unique enough, um, and I don't think it just looks good compared to the, the old packaging. I just like how it looked more. It looked better on a shelf. It looked better to catch QC issues. You can't, don't really get that anymore. And, like, the only good thing about the art or the, the box is the art on this on this side the comic art and even then it's not original anymore some of it is reused from comic panels um it makes sense for something like the amazing fantasy figure but like I, I don't know part of me just likes the original illustrations that we had on these figures on the side of the packaging you don't really get that much anymore so let's just go ahead and i'm considering doing a one shot of this review i got this on amazon I doubt that this is going to be swapped. Uh, so, I, you know, I wanted to do something for reviews uh, where I was opening them right then and there. Just to kind of prove a point if there were problems right out of the gate. Um, but a lot of stuff like beginning was online. So it wasn't, you know, coming straight from Hasbro if you pre-ordered it. So a lot of it didn't really end up mattering. Okay, two web lines right out the box. Get those. Those, these it's time to put these away we get these all the time are they are the hands not in here yeah they're in here i was gonna say what the hell they're just tucked away on the other side get out there you have little dinguses this is this is the one thing that sometimes it just takes too needlessly long to open these bad boys up these hands I'm going to go ahead and take a look at them. Looks like there's a little bit of uh, something going on in the plastic on the palm of the whipping hand to where there's black showing. I'm looking at here close. The iPhone's not picking up too well. The paint lines, you know, the separation between the black and the white's a little, it's a little rough. It's a little grainy in some areas, but on like this side, I actually, I don't think it looks too bad. I still... It's not that, I don't know what it is, but it looks like the camera's picking up more. It's just that really gross, or that splotches in the palm there. The fist. Uh, it looks fine, I guess. It's a bit of a large seam line going on here, whatever that is. We've gotten these plenty of times, so. Get him out of his friggin' prison. I, I can't breathe in this thing. Let's see. Let's take a look. We have a bit of a black splotch right there. Did, did I get a decent figure? The way that we have to find out. I've been seeing disgust, absolutely horrendous paint apps on this figure for some people. 
let's see if i'm looking still in the back it's not perfect here if i i mean if i'm going through here i'd be nitpicking a bit but you know imperfect a little bit imperfect there a little bit of a black splotch middle of the back looks like there's some white on the black where the butterfly joint is a bit of a splotch on this spider arm i'm still i'm just looking did they actually paint? No, they did not. I was about to say, did they actually paint the joint white a little bit here? No, they didn't. I hate that. I really don't like that, the way that, that looks. And and then you look here. One thing I've just been really annoyed with. What? Like, yeah, a lot of you are just like, it's not that bad. It's not that much false advertising. Dude, like, come on. Why would you just be honest? Show white here if it's going to end up being white or painted black. Is it that, is it that hard? Come on. It's, I, it just really is not acceptable. I, I, I don't really care how much of a tiny nitpick that sounds. Let's clean up the area. Uh, come on, man. We've been having this since, like, what, 2013? For some of the figures? I, I, I just can't let it slide anymore. All the all these years it's been happening, and now with the price increases, it's got to stop. It's got to end. L uh, lines are not super clean when it comes to uh, you know. I, I don't think it just looks clean here. It starts to fade off a little bit. That's like the biggest thing I've noticed with this figure. It's just like white bleeding into black. It's the line separation is not very clean. Definitely same thing going up here. On the th uh, upper thighs, where that swivel is, pretty. It's, pretty, it's starting to get a little bit nasty when you get to the knee there. Uh, pretty much the same thing on the upper hip right there. Whatever's going on with these seam lines, dude, it's kind of gross looking. Back here, a bit similar. Not too bad when it comes to like plastic fading off tiny bit of white on there again i'm nitpicking a little bit i'm just pointing some of these out and uh you know qc issues happen i know some are more god awful than others some can be forgiven a little bit more but i am getting more critical of marvel legends for the higher price increases is there anything else and like the arms below the the fists here have like again something really gross going on with the plastic where it's just a bunch of creases bunched up together and then I, I I don't know if I already mentioned these, but I hate how these are done too. I mean, if I'm being fair though, at least we knew on the box that that was going to happen. I mean, we seriously haven't integrated uh, pinless tech on this yet, in this body that we've gotten like a hundred times so so far in the new Marvel, uh, like the since 2017, 2018 of Marvel Legends. I wouldn't say it's new. Definitely not a new body. This this is the Sunfire, um, and the different version of spider-man 2099 body that we've gotten since like 2017 which is, i always thought was a decent body with in terms of proportions and articulation but it is extremely reused by at this point where like it's like all all some people would say it's almost on par with bookie cap even though i, I still like this body a little bit more there's a lot of reuse <laughs> which is kind of the name of hasbro's game head sculpt i got a oh, there you I want to say that they are, it's reused from the Symbiote Spider-Man, which I wouldn't mind. But the jaw on the one on the right is wider than the one on the left. So I do believe if it's not retooled, this is a brand new sculpt. At least I, yeah, you can feel the actual separation of the white and the black with the seam lines on the, um, the white there. In the sculpting. Not much else to go over sculpting. You know, it's got the muscles that we all know about and uh some areas actually i don't remember if this body has areas where it makes the body look like it's stretching um i believe the new vulcan body does and i think the spider uk body does too big white splotch right there one thing i think is ugly is these huge plastic seam lines right here I know that that's difficult if you're painting, if you molded this in black and you paint this whole thing. That is a black sculpt. Getting those seam lines out of there can be difficult. I still think it looks pretty darn disgusting. <laughs> uh, yeah, 
it could be worse actually it's actually this is like probably the worst part right here it just looks really not good where my, where my fingernail is my nasty ass fingernail I'm just taking a look again at the rest of this body i didn't do a 360 i haven't measured this figure out yet it's just like plastic just just looks really chewed up man it's just not clean I don't want to be a snob, but again, I'm, I'm sick of paying the high prices for these figures and having subpar paint. I've seen worse. I've seen absolutely fucking worse. <laughs> I've absolutely seen worse um, on this figure online. So one thing I will mention, oh, the gummy joints, the gummy knee joints. It doesn't feel as bad here, but it's definitely not ideal. How gummy? It's about the same as gummy here. So, I mean, I guess I can't knock him too much for it. But, man, yeah. that Ooh, it's worse here. Oh, boy. Look at that. Ooh. <laughs> I'm still being a goofy ass. There's a splotch on the knee. Pretty sure I didn't do that. I mean, I just opened this. Oh, man. Let's back out a little bit. You can kind of see this figure a little better. I don't want, I don't want to bother putting this on a... Uh, the, the base right now the 360 base i'm just doing this whole thing as a one shot i just don't like how it looks the, uh, the design wise it's okay i think i would have preferred the normal future foundations so i think they're planning a future foundation set or something with hazlab maybe in the future not entirely sure i will measure this out we're getting a little bit over 16 centimeters, just a little bit over 16 centimeters. That's gonna make it a little a little under six and a half inches. This is the only size comparison I'm gonna do with another Spider-Man figure, which is gonna be the exact same height, even though my hands are a little bit wobbly, if I can actually get it in there. By the way, just gotta interject and say that the elbows are worse when it comes to how gummy they are. This is like fucking <laughs> chewed up bubble gum, man. Articulation's basic. It has the, uh, let's actually zoom in a little bit for this one. Articulation's pretty basic. It goes up, goes down, side to side. No problems there. Articulation's gonna be pretty decent. Actually, the really good butterfly joint going on here. Arms going all the way around, in and out, upper arms. Well, let's see how far out I can get it. There we go. Uh, looks like actually, out of all these new release of figures, this has the sturdier uh start here arm joints at the swivel because they've just been really gummy lately double jointed elbows you've got a hinge and a swivel here which is actually really tight uh this ab crunch man is so tight like needlessly tight i love that they gave this the illusion of that this is like the ball jointed waist like this figure has with the paint here i thought i was like oh this is on that uh you know retro spidey body because of how that looks nope that's just a hinge waist twist i mean i could tell clearly after that you know, see those pro images oh that's not going to happen but still legs go outward that much back is non-existent decent splits thigh swivel you have a double jointed knee swivel at the calf Breaks up all that paint the way that all that matches. Downward a foot like that. And then we have upward. It could be better. And then ankle rockers. Did I mention, pretty sure I did, that we already have these web lines throughout the whole new series of some of these releases of figures that we've gotten these since like 2012 with like the Amazing Spider-Man Walmart figures. It's time to do something a little bit more unique. They're kind of garbage. My particular figure here could be worse. I probably, I'd probably do sound like I'm over exaggerating a little bit um, with my problems with this figure. I still think that the paint is ugly. I hate these exposed joints, and there are a few too many paint splotches and paint imperfections to my liking. I again, I've seen way worse. And if I'm being honest, I think I'm more disappointed with Iron Spider than I am this guy. But I'm, I still don't think it's ideal. I'm not a fan of this figure, unfortunately. So that's where I'm going to leave it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Comment down below. Think about the favorites. Think about the review. If you think I'm full of shit, <laughs> leave that down below if you want to as well. Thanks for watching. See you guys later.